on to the female team coach of the year that will be presented by Andrea Maloney, head coach of all girls. Andrea's career began as a provincial team member from under 14 through to under 20 with two national championship wins. From there, she went to play varsity soccer at Simon Fraser University and then down south to Jacksonville State University. She also played in the W League for Fort Collins Force. She currently plays with the Coquitla Metro Ford Senior Women's Classic Premier Team, and they have won gold medals at the Provincials, uh, I think three times now, and uh, a gold medal in silver at the Nationals. Andrea has her B National Certification, and again, we talk about role models, she is absolutely in love with every single child she coaches. I know that because she coached my daughter and, uh, and is a terrific role model for the uh, girls in our club. Andrea Maloney. Thank you, Dave. Uh, good, evening, good evening, everyone. It's my first time presenting, so I hope I can do this well. I'm very honored to be presenting the Female Team Coach of the Year. So our first nominee is Dino Benjamin. <laughs> Dino took over as head coach of the Under-14 Girls Division I Heat last season. Despite essentially little change to the roster, Dino was able to transform the team into a championship group. This team won the Tri-City Cup, they won the Coastal Cup and the Provincial Championship, as well as many tournaments. More importantly than this incredible, all these incredible accomplishments, each player on the team developed under his leadership and became closer teammates and friends. Dino's unwavering commitment to the team was deeply appreciated by both the girls and the parents. Dino has the ability to just bring out a player's full potential. He leads by example, from the bench, he's always positive in his address towards his team, um, officials, opposition, coaches. He always acts with the utmost integrity and puts the well-being and happiness of his team before winning. His commitment goes above and beyond. He also head coaches an additional team in our club. As well, <laughs> he's a longtime field and equipment coordinator for the club. He takes on duties above and beyond um, he is involved with setup, takedown at tournaments, league games. I mean, so often he is that go-to guy. Um, he is a true leader and role model, and he's an exemplary representative for Capilla Metro Ford that we're very proud of. Our second nominee is David Abbey. carried out another successful season, placing second in the MSL League Championship and taking both the championship title for Coastal Cup and Provincial Cup. The only turnover on Dave's team has been players moving up to the SBL team, which he is fully, fully encouraging. Dave pushes these players, he knows what they can do, he knows by building their confidence, um, he helps them learn to communicate, grow in areas of strength, and also gives them areas of improvement. He takes time away from his business to coach these athletes. And um, he's taught these girls to play with their heart. And in, re in return, they show him the dedication to the game by working hard at every practice, every time the team gets together, and they deliver results in each game they play. Um, as one of his players quoted, um, Coach Dave has helped us understand soccer. It's not only an extracurricular activity that we do for fun, but a skillful game, showing our physical and mental abilities. He's taught us many different skills, gameplays, tactics. He's helped us learn to work together as a team. Dave You're all trying to figure out who it was. Our third nominee is Jeremy Lowe. Jeremy led the U17 SBL Storm to a very successful season, winning both the Provincial Cup and competing in the National Cup in Frederick Trimby, Brunswick. <laughs> Jeremy possesses a great work ethic, and he expects the same from his, his players who regularly put in extra time and extra training sessions. 
He's a tremendous teacher of the game, the tactical side of the game. He's continually breaking down the game situations for the benefit of his players. He's always in control on the sidelines. He rarely has to raise his voice to get his message across to his team. Um, he also coaches uh, the boys under 13 SPL. He's an integral addition to our CMF coaching staff um, and our SPL program. Yeah. And uh, the winner is Dino Fetch.